Paul, it's great to have you with us, and we're looking we're looking forward to welcoming you um, to week one of the convention. Could you just tell us for our prayers, and we'll be praying as a country together, what you'll be bringing to us, and also how we can pray for you personally in the run up to the convention. Okay, thanks very much. It's great to uh, to anticipate Keswick. We've been praying for for the convention for well most days since since the beginning of January. Um, I'm preaching through the book of Philippians, which I kind of thought in, in days gone by was it was a, a Keswick favorite, but it hadn't been preached on for a long time. Uh, originally, when when the theme was Thanksgiving and gratitude, I, I, I naturally went to uh, uh, went to Philippians because it's all about Paul grateful to God for, for his goodness, for his mercy, for his uh, compassion and so on. But this year we're, we're, we're thinking about a slightly different theme which is God's faithfulness. And actually, Philippians covers that in, in a great deal as well. It speaks about God's faithfulness to Paul and his faithfulness to his church. Um, and, it, and it speaks about the centrality of the gospel. It speaks about the gospel under attack. It speaks about the unity of the church under attack. It speaks about holiness. So, so themes that are so relevant and so vital to us as, uh, as church. Um, and all the time, there's a consciousness that God is in control, that, that God is working out for all things for the, for the good of his people. So, so I hope it will be a challenge, but it also be a tremendous encouragement to us as we, as we look at Paul's letter, written from prison, written in lockdown, and yet just brimming over with lessons that he has learned through that experience of being in a Roman prison. Um, as for prayer, uh, if you can pray for us, um, I guess there's, there's the, the, the challenge of being a pastor at the moment and, and spending time just coming out of lockdown. We're meeting three times on a Sunday now, which is fantastic, but still a lot of people with, with needs coming out of lockdown and needing support and encouragement. So a lot of time spent with people, encouraging people and pastoring people and having to work on the, um, the series on Philippians parallel to that. So, so just as far as time management is concerned and just for freshness, I think uh, that, that uh, bringing the word of God, not just teaching a passage, but, but really bringing what the Lord lays on your heart for the church today. Um, so I'm being able to, 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 to bring God's word in such a way that we're conscious of the Holy Spirit, applying it to our hearts and transforming us and, and blessing the church as it goes through what has been a tremendous challenge to us and, and, and a transition period as we, we move back into uh, back into a, to, to personal per, uh, meetings in person. So those are the kind of things you can pray for us and for my wife as she continues to struggle with a lot of pain. Um, that, that's a kind of a daily problem. So, so most of our nights, if not all of them are disrupted. So mm. just for energy and, and um, stamina to keep mm. going, that would be great. Thank you so much, Paul. We look forward so much to seeing you.